everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to download and install too many items or roughly enough items in Minecraft 1.17.1 roughly enough items is basically very very similar to too many items except it's updated for 1.17.1 too many items was abandoned a long time ago and uh, I don't I, honestly I don't know how many people are searching for too many items he says because we'll find out but roughly enough items is the more modern equivalent there's also another modern equivalent if you want to use forge called just enough items I do want to mention that here so just enough items and roughly enough items very very similar but today we're gonna to be installing the roughly enough items mod in 1.17.1 been a while since we've updated this tutorial Nevertheless, though, for us, we do have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually have just Apex so much, we have our own server, play it on breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, though, let's go ahead and get roughly enough items up and running for 1.17.1. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and there's a lot of links down below. And that's going to take you here. The second link down below is going to take you here. This is the text tutorial we have for Roughly Enough Items. Once you're here, though, go ahead and click on the yellow Download Roughly Enough Items button. That will go ahead and take us off to here, where we'll see this is the official Roughly Enough Items fabric download page. Once you're here, what we want to do is go ahead and come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down until we see the Minecraft 1.17 section, and then under that, we see Fabric 1.17.1. That's the version of Roughly Enough Items that we want to download. Go ahead and click on the orange download button to the right of that, and after a few seconds, the download will begin. You're going to need to keep or save this file depending on your browser in Google Chrome. We're going to keep it in the bottom or left on Mozilla Firefox. You will save it in the center of your screen. Now, there's three more mods that we need to download for roughly enough items to work. The first is Architecture API. The second is the Cloth Config API. And the third is the Fabric API. This is more complicated than it should be in my opinion, but let's go ahead and do it. So the first one is Architecture API. All of these are linked in the description down below, by the way. So everything I mentioned, every single link I mentioned, it's in the description down below. Go in there, click all those, and then download them through this. So anyway, Architecture API, once you're here, same process. Right-hand side, scroll down to the Minecraft 1.17 section, and then download the Fabric 1.17.1. You're going to need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. There we go. Download begins, and we can go ahead and keep the file in the bottom left, save it in the center of your screen. Repeat the process with the clock config. Same thing. Come to the download page here, come over to the right-hand side, scroll down so you see Fabric 1.17.1, click that orange download button, wait a few seconds, and keep or save the file depending on your browser. Now, the Fabric API is a bit different. We do have an article on installing this on our website, but we're going to show you everything here. Basically, you will come to this page when you click the link in the description down below click that download fabric api button and then it's the same process come over here to the right hand side scroll down 1.17.1 version under minecraft 1.17 and you'll again need to keep or save the file now i would love to say we're done downloading but we're not we still need to download the fabric installer this one is also linked down below and once you're here, you want to click on the download installer universal slash dot jar. So under the fabric installer page, this page right here, click on the download installer universal slash dot jar. And you guessed it. You're going to need to keep or save it. Keep it in the bottom left. Save it in the screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, finally, we can minimize our browser. And on our desktop, we have the Architecture API, the Cloth Config, the Fabric API, and all of that is in to install roughly enough items. Then we also have the Fabric Mod Loader installer because that's what allows all of these to be installed into Minecraft. If these aren't on your desktop, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, go and click the little windows icon. It's the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen. But click on that little windows icon on the top bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in downloads. Have this downloads file folder here. Click on that. And then in here, you will be able to find the architecture cloth config, fabric API, roughly enough items, and the fabric installer. Drag and drop these to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we're going to be starting off with the fabric installer. But... If these icons are different, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to fix it. If like these don't look like mine, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Just keep watching. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and right click on the fabric installer here. Click on open with, click on Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here or I do and it doesn't work or I don't have anything at all. The icons are broken. There's no Java here. It's just a mess. Well, if any of those are the case, what we want to do is go ahead and open up in the description down below this tutorial. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. It goes through every single step of downloading and installing Java for 1.17 Minecraft mods. Java changed from 1.16 to 1.17, so you need this version of Java for this to work. It goes through kind of everything here. 
very simple tutorial, three steps. Now, for most of you, you should be able to continue with the tutorial at that point. But for some of you, you still will have like broken or your you know files will look like WinRAW files or something like that. In that case, you need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the .jar files on your computer and link them back to Java and make them work all happily again. Now we can minimize our browser. Right click on the Fabric installer. If you didn't have Java before, you should have it now. Click on that and click OK. That's then going to open up the Fabric installer here, and we want to make sure that 1.17.1 is selected. Then we're going to go ahead and click on Install here, and it will go ahead and open up and say Fabric Loader 1.17.1 has been successfully installed. Now, if it doesn't say this, it's because you've not played 1.17.1 without any mods or anything like that. So go play that with not any mods at all, no Optify, no anything. Come back here, and this will work when you click that Install button. Go ahead and click OK. It's going to close out of that. We can close out of the Fabric installer. And now let's get these mods installed. To do that, you want to hit the little Windows icon that's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. But click on that little Windows icon in the top bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in Run, or you in. You'll have this Run app here. Go ahead and open that app. And then in this app, you want to go ahead and type percent sign, app data percent sign to percent, app data percent, exactly like that, and hit Enter. That's then going to open up our roaming folder. And in here, you will find our .minecraft folder. Open up that .minecraft folder, and then you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. There's no mods folder in here. Well, guess what? I don't have one either. Let's go ahead and right click over here, click on new, click on folder, and they have a new folder up here. Title this folder mods, M-O-D-S, exactly like that, all lowercase, and then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder. And then go ahead and drag and drop the architecture API, the clock config, the fabric API, and roughly enough items into this mods folder. You should have all these mods installed to get roughly enough items. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out of the mods folder, open up the Minecraft launcher, and before you click play, hold on, we want to make sure that the fabric loader is selected. So as you can see, it is selected for us. If it's not selected for you, go ahead and click on this little arrow in the bottom left next to the play button, and then click on fabric loader 1.17.1. Now it's there for me, I'm good, I can go ahead and click that, click play, click play again, but for some of you, you won't have fabric loader here, or you will, and it won't say 1.17.1. If that's the case, go ahead and click on installations, and make sure this mod button is checked over here in the top right. So you can see I deselect it, it's gone, no more fabric there. Click on mod it again, and it is back. We can go ahead and click play on it. Now, last but not least, for some of you, you still won't have fabric. And if that's the case, go ahead and click on the new installation button here. Then we want to name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming that? Because that's our own incredible 1.17.1 grief protected survival server. Breakdown Craft has gotten some amazing updates recently, so come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. Over 150 players online on Breakdown Craft every single day. Come play with us. Nevertheless, let's go ahead now and click on the versions drop down box, and then we want to select release Fabric Loader 1.17.1. Mine's up here towards the top. You don't have to scroll down a ways to find yours, but mine's right here. And then we want to go ahead and change our resolution. You don't have to do that, but I'm doing that so we can see in game. The most important part on this page for you, though, is selecting that release fabric loader, and then it says 1.17.1 at the end. Let's go ahead and click the green create button in the bottom right. And now we have play.breakdowncraft.com profile here, but most importantly, it says fabric loader 1.17.1. We can hover over that, click the green play button, click that you understand you're playing mod in Minecraft. That's basically what it's saying here. And then click the green play button again. Now Minecraft 1.17.1 is gonna open up with roughly enough items installed. I will go ahead to a quick jump cut and meet you on the main menu to show off roughly enough items. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can go ahead and transition to where you can see all of Minecraft here. Now, unfortunately, you can see that it says fabric in the bottom left and that's cool, but unfortunately, the sad part is that's no mods tab. There's no mods tab on Fabric. That's the only indication that this is modded or that you have any mods installed. So let's go ahead and click on multiplayer here. Jump into the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We're going to be joining in to 1.17.1 survival server, medieval survival here. And uh, if we go ahead and hit E, you'll be able to see here is all of the items that we have, or not all the items, this is all the Minecraft items. For example, we want to go ahead and search, I don't know, like let's say a coal brick or like a... a, a uh, a, you know, coal block here. We go ahead and click on that, and it'll show you kind of how that... Wait, what? You can always edit this again via the config screen. That... Oh, okay, we have to select which one of these we want. I'm gonna go with this one. There we go, that's cool. So now you can see how to craft this, how all of that works. If we want to go in here, let's do, let's say, a plank. I don't know, I'm just trying to think of random stuff. That's how you can craft that. And then even a little more... Oh, I just changed the uh, screen size there. Even stuff that's a little more complicated, like let's say an anvil, we are going to have this. How do you craft an iron block? You can click on that to get more info. So really, really cool stuff there. There is no denying that roughly enough items is installed. We can click on this open config screen here and change all the different configs of roughly enough items. There are a lot of them, so feel free to do that. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. 
content every single day of the week. Also, um, you can submit a Google form here if you want to give some uh, feedback to the REI developer. But uh, yeah, my name is Nick. This is the Breakdown. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. We're in medieval survival right now. Let's go to aquatic survival. And Skybox is going to play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. You'll love it. If you're looking for the best Minecraft survival server out there, come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. It truly is incredible. Nonetheless, again, my name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.